Hi guys, Alec Pierce Scuba, coming to you again from the fantastic uh, Aqua Sub Scuba Diving Center. Now listen, um, everybody has used a wetsuit. Some, uh, some people still use a wetsuit. I still use a wetsuit, actually, yeah, because I only dive in warm water. That's not a very thick wetsuit. If I'm in really cold water, although I'm, I'm, I much prefer diving in a uh, wetsuit than a dry suit, but if it's really cold, I wear a dry suit. However, everybody has used a wetsuit, and most of you divers out there still have wetsuits. And you know, wetsuits today are not inexpensive anymore. They never were inexpensive, but now they're very expensive. <clears throat> uh, 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 you know, a, a half decent cold water wetsuit is 400 bucks, maybe more. Even a, a thin warm water suit, a, a decent one is $200 or more. Sure, you can buy, uh, you know, you can go to Walmart and, and uh, places like that. You can get uh, a, a little thin suits for $69, $79, but you know, they're, they're one, what I call one season suits. If you get two seasons out of them, you've done really, really well. But if you want a decent wetsuit, looks good, fits properly, keeps you warm, which is the main reason for it, and lasts for a few years, you pay a few dollars for it. So it, pay, it pays to take care of it. We just did a video recently on how to get rid of the loose threads, because almost all wetsuits over a period of time get loose threads. It's important to take care of them properly. You can't pull them, you shouldn't cut them, there's a proper way to do that, so, so look for that video, which we just did a while ago, on how to get rid of loose threads on wetsuits. What's the most important part of your wetsuit, the divers? And I say, oh, no, gosh, it'd be the neck, the wrist, no, the ankles, no, no. And other parts, which I won't mention. No, the most important part of the wetsuit is, are you ready for this? This thing right here. Usually on the back, sometimes on the front. Now, this thing, it has a special name. It's called a zipper. This is the most, why do I say it's the most important part? Well, it's simple. It can't be repaired. If you don't take care of the zipper, and the zipper breaks, either pulls out of the suit, or a tooth breaks, or jams, you can't repair it. So it's new wetsuit time. If a thread comes loose, if you get a hole in the knee, or something, anything, a tear in the suit, they can all be repaired, almost like new. You watch some of my videos, I've got some tips on there on how to do that. But if the zipper on your wetsuit breaks or tears out, it can't be repaired. The cost of the zipper is a hundred bucks. You can buy a new wetsuit for a hundred and a half or so, so why would you, you know? So it's important that you take care of that zipper. How do you do that? Well, at least a couple of times during the diving season, you should clean the zipper. Clean it. That's right. Just clean it. That's all you have to do in the diving season. But at the beginning of the diving season and at the end of the diving season, you should take a little more care of that zipper. Here's what you should do. First of all, Check it very carefully. Lay it down. Don't tug on it, but check it very carefully. You'll see that it actually does work all the way down and all the way back up. The next step is to clean it. How do you clean it? Almost all wetsuit zippers now are nylon. Nylon zippers. Plastic, if you like. So very little sticks to them. A little bit of salt, maybe, but if you've been rinsing your suit, not very much soap. So you don't need to use any cleaning material. You don't need soap running your cleaning. All you need is a brush. A toothbrush works really well. A little hand brush, a little nail brush, brush, and you just zipper closed, and just go along and brush firmly all the way up the zipper. Now, don't forget the inside, because then it turned the suit inside. On the inside, it's the same thing, all the same teeth, just the back side. Brush the whole thing very carefully, so it's clean. Everything is off of that. Then, you need to lubricate it, yeah? I know, it's plastic, it's nylon but you really need to have some kind of lubricant on that to ensure that when you pull this tang, it's called a tang, up and down like that, it actually works properly. A little bit of lubricant. Let me give you a tip. You can do this yourself. There's lots of different lubricants. Some divers use glycerin. Silicone spray is not the best. Silicone grease will work. Uh, one, of, one of our diver friends we know, he told I, I asked him, what do you use? And he said, I use Lipsil. And what's lip seal? He said, that's the stuff you put in your lips so they don't chap. Yeah, okay, that's cool. It comes in a stick. You put it on both sides. That'll certainly work. I think it's mostly uh, glycerin, so it'll probably work really well. I'm not sure if I want my suit smelling like strawberry, but whatever. Anyway, here's what you can do. For a few dollars, I think these are five, six, seven dollars at a dive store. Look, Zip Care from that company, McNett. McNett products. You can check them out on the internet. McNett, M-C. I'll pull this out of here. There we go. M C N E T T. Go to McNet. Search for it. You'll find 
they have a, a big website. They have hundreds of products specifically made for outdoors and for diving. They have a whole diving line. All types of greases and lubricants and cleaners and mastiff, all kinds of stuff. And they have this special little tube for zip care. I know, you don't want to spend money if you don't need to. Get one of these. It'll last you for 10 years. You can use this in all of your zippers, not just your diving zippers, but you can use it on your wetsuit zippers. You can use this on your dry suit zippers. Aha! Uh -huh. I said earlier that to replace a zipper on a wetsuit would be $100. To replace a zipper on a dry suit would be $300 or more. Now, so you can use it on, and it, it even comes with its own brush. So you can take that end off if you like, and use that little brush to clean the zipper, as I explained, and then you take the cap off of this, and sure enough, <clears throat> There's a little dispenser in there, pull that thing off, and you squirt a little bit along there, and spread that along with the brush again, and your wetsuit zipper will last forever. It's clean, it's lubricated, it won't jam, it won't pick up dirt, debris, marine growth, sand, any of those things, your zipper will literally last for a long time. When your wetsuit is completely worn out, the zipper will still be like new. <laughs> That's good news. Anyway, just a tip. I didn't know if you folks knew about this zip care or about McNett about the importance of keeping your wetsuit zipper in good shape. Now you do. I hope there's something in there worthwhile for you. I'll talk to you soon. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips.